So, in this video, we're going to be talking about amino acids. Amino acids are molecules which are present in our organism and which are the main constituents of proteins. They are um, molecules which can also be used for energetic purposes after the building of, pro of proteins has been uh, taken care of. They are made of an aminic group, NH2, and a carboxylic group, which is acid, so that's where the name amino acid comes from. There's about 20 of these amino acids, and with some variations, which uh, brings the number to 21 or 22 or even more sometimes. They have a lateral chain R, uh, which changes, and that's how they have the number of variants. They uh, are usually they are found in our organism, which has a pH of 7.2, 7.4, as NH3 plus and a COO minus. So with two charges. Normally, uh, you consider them as NH2 and COOH, but um, in our organism, uh, you will not find them this way. So the aminic group is going to have uh, an extra proton, so uh, one more positive charge. And the carboxylic group is going to lose its proton, so it's going to be negatively charged, since it's going to lose uh, a positive charge. And before it was neutral, it's going to uh, remain with one uh, negative charge. So this is the form in which they are found in our organism. Now, proteins are macromolecules usually. They're very big uh, in size. They can be small, but usually they are big. And they are made of many amino acids bond together. Now, the way the bond forms is uh, pretty interesting. It's a peptide bond, which is very strong, and that gives uh, a great stability to proteins. Now, uh, the chain varies in length and in types of amino acid, and the different sequence gives uh, different functions and shapes to the protein. Now, here you can see uh, a table taken from Wikipedia with uh, the 20, or 21 actually here, amino acids. The different colors uh, indicate different properties, like uh, more basic amino acids, acid amino acids, and that's uh, due to the lateral chain, uh, which changes the group R, which we saw uh, before. And they can be uh, various uh, lateral chains. Now, this is the way the peptide bond forms. Uh, there, the carboxylic group of one amino acid reacts with the ami uh, aminic group of another one. And one molecule of water gets eliminated and the, uh, there's a bond which is formed between the C, the, the carbon atom, and the, uh, the uh, nitrogen atom in the, the other amino acid. As you can see, this is the water molecule detaching, so H2O uh, going away, and um, there uh, is the formation of this peptide bond which is very uh, is a very strong bond. So uh, this is the way uh, proteins are made, and this happens in ribosomes, by the way.